problem. I yield back. General yields back. Uh, next, Mr. Swalwell. Uh, thank you. Ms. Rodriguez, welcome, and, and thank you for coming today uh, to testify. Ms. Rodriguez, were you at the Capitol on January 6th? Was I at the Capitol? Yes. Uh, no, sir. I was on the premises outside of a reflection pond waving a flag. You, so you were on the Capitol grounds? I'm not sure if that's technically Capitol grounds. I was near the street. Is this your tweet right behind me at 3.05 on January 6, 2021? I, I really do not know. Okay. Are, you, I, I can... are you at Secure Border TX? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you see that picture? I, I can. Mm -hmm. Did you go any farther than where you were in that picture? No, sir. Did you ever cross any police barricades on January 6? Not that I'm aware of. Did you ever see any violence on January 6th? No, I did not. I did see a red flare go up. I don't remember the time, but that was about it. I did not encounter any violence. As a matter of fact, it was quite peaceful. Uh, I was involved in some prayers the day before. So January 6th, over 150 officers were injured. One lost an eye, one lost a finger, one lost a life, but you didn't see any violence. No, sir, I did not. That was not my experience. You agree, though, that violence against police officers took place that day? Sir, I'm not quite sure what this has to do with the exploitation of children like the young girl who wore this band. Sure. I, I guess, you know, you were called, you publicly tweeted this, the majority knew that you were on the Capitol grounds on January 6th. And so, you know, your credibility is just as every witness, including the Democratic witness, is fair grounds for questioning. And so I guess my question is, you were aware, you are aware that violence took place at the Capitol on January 6th. That's what the media says. Okay. Do you believe the media? Inherently? I no, do about not. January 6th. Inher about January 6th. I can only go by my personal experience. And I absolutely, if waving a flag and praying outside of the Supreme Court and standing outside waving a flag, um, on public property is a crime. I, I, I'm, I'm not quite, again, I, I'm really not sure what relevance. We have children that are being raped but others, using our taxpayer dollars. There were not I'm not quite them. sure what this has to do with me waving yeah. a flag has to do with so You that. were among a crowd that mm -hmm. did commit violence. And my question for you is, and I accept you at your word, you did not commit any violence that day. You didn't see any violence that day. Certainly, it's not a lie. It's not made up that 150 officers were injured. But my question is, to your credibility, will you condemn the violence that took place absolutely. against the officers that day? I absolutely condemn any violence, incur including the violence that is occurring at our southern border using our taxpayer dollars. Absolutely. Okay. And did you tell the majority uh, before they invited you here uh, that you had participated on the Capitol grounds on January 6th? Did I tell the majority that I the, waved a flag on Did they know that you grounds? had been at the Capitol on January? That was not a question that I was asked, no, sir. Okay. And as it relates to January 6th, you also posted a tweet that encouraged people to attend that day and, quote, fight for Trump. Do you remember writing on January 1, 2021, imagine over a million patriots screaming, fight for Trump, think Congress and the Supreme Court will hear us. When you say fight for Trump and then there was actually fighting, physical fighting on behalf of Trump, so what did you, you mean? Are you stating that I tweeted that? You don't remember tweeting? No, sir, I, I honestly do not. Okay, so on January 1, 2021, you sent a tweet that said, imagine over a million patriots screaming, quote, fight for Trump on the 6th. Think Congress and SC, which I believe is Supreme Court, will hear us then, hashtag, Fight for Trump. Your, you, your testimony is that you did not say that. I'm saying I do not, I honestly do not remember tweeting that. I was not very active on Twitter. Well, you also tweeted at four o'clock, mm -hmm. I just got home, you said I just got whole safely. I think you meant home. At BWI airport is the gate filled up with those of us with Trump gear on and several army soldiers mm -hmm. near time to boarding. Our gate was surrounded by airport Did the gentleman security. yield for a moment? No, I will not yield. So you tweeted 
regularly throughout the days leading up to January 6th. You asked people to fight for Trump, and then you took a picture of yourself near the Capitol. So I just want to know, when you say fight for Trump, and people ultimately fought for Trump, do you regret those words? Sir, I, I do. The, the second one that you just read, um, yeah, because that was a very traumatic experience. I couldn't understand why my gate uh, surrounding and in BWI was surrounded by guardsmen and how I was, we as a whole, everyone that was on that plane were threatened to be removed. I could not understand because again, I did not experience any type of violence. As far as this, the first one that you, I would have to go back and look at that. I, I really do not honestly remember tweeting sure. that I'll, first. I'll make sure Gentleman's we time give it to you. Expired, Mr. And I just want to correct. I said January 6th for the BWI airport. It was January 7th. Uh, I just want to, that, the, January 7 was when you tweeted Mr. about BWI. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez, I apologize that you had to, you're here for a hearing on the border. They don't want to talk about a border. Uh, Mr. Swalwell is down there. Obviously, everybody knows he's made some comments. He's got a, a checkered past. He's alleged I'm sorry, relationships. I'm sorry, a checkered past? A, uh, alleged, I would ask. Uh, it's my time. Mr. Alleged affairs a checkered relationships past? with Yum Yum. No, 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 yum, no yum. You don't get to say that shit. That, that's he, not he true. He had alleged relationships and with Yum Yum. I asked the, gen no, 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 the gentleman's no, words no, be no, taken no, no. down. You don't get to say Mr. that, Chairman. Yes, the gentleman's words be taken down. Is casting a slur on another member. I am here. He's making... I ask Let's the words of the gentleman be taken civility. down as casting a slur Let us have, another member. Let us have some order and civility here, and we will take up the issues one by one. Mr. Chairman, I ask that the words of the gentleman be taken down as, a, as, um, um, uh, as, as expressing a slur on another member. I join in that request. And the specific words were? He mentioned that Mr. Swalwell had a checkered past. I, I don't have the rest of the exact words, but it was, it was a direct slur on a member of this committee. That is not acceptable. We are going to consult the um, precedents and uh, take temporary recess. Thank you. Uh, would the gentleman wish to withdraw his words? Yes, and I would like to rephrase. Uh, this is the, the same member that was removed from the Intelligence Committee that he previously served on. So now let's get right down to the serious business as it relates uh, to our southern border.